Hello, Sagittarius. This is the Pretty Coach of the Pretty Coach Oracles here. Getting ready to do your weekly general reading for the week of March 8th through the 15th. Hey, mommy. Yeah, yeah, guys. So, look. I've already done a couple readings, and I knew that this energy was going to be at everybody's reading. I just knew it because I had already asked Spirit ahead of time to give be a message that was going to permeate through all the signs. And that's just what happened. So the clip that you saw just before this came on, that was that energy about recovery and yes, and the, the, the crystals that are associated with all of these readings, you guys. If you have not looked at that, please check it out. I also feel like I need to say this. That if any of this reading resonates with you right now, Sagittarius, you need to go and watch all the other signs reading. Because I feel like it's giving information to the whole scenario. I feel like each sign is actually only carrying bits and pieces of an overall message. But it's up to you. Do what you're led to do. Your overall energy, Sagittarius, that's coming out in your messages for this week is the bull card. <clears throat> the moon. Heavy Pisces, Cancer, Scorpionic energy, water sign, period. But most importantly, that's about dealing with your emotions, okay? Dealing with your feelings. That's dreams. You could be having a lot of very vivid dreams about things going on underneath the surface or in your subconscious, okay? You could be getting the truth. From your dreams. Just want to throw that out there. Moving on. So the first card to come out for you, Sagittarius, is the Three of Pentacles. So this is about collaboration. This is about teamwork. This is about trust. This is about working together. Cooperation, if I didn't say that, okay? The next card was the Two of Chalices. So I feel like there's a soulmate connection. Ooh, there's a soulmate connection here, honey. And I'm hearing that the that it runs deep. But I also heard something about the tides. The tides. So let's just see what this energy is about. Spirit, why is the three of chalices here? That's too many cards. Here, what's going on here? First of all, I'm nosy about what 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 emotions could be going on with Sagittarius subconsciously that could be coming up, or what's hidden from Sagittarius at this time. Somebody is thinking about an ex, or someone is thinking about someone from the past or a past life relationship, or just. Memories from their youth, memories from their childhood, childhood friends, something. Oh, no, it's a love. It's a love. I got the King of Cups and I got the Empress energy here, okay? So, all right, here goes what I feel like is happening here. I feel like the person that you love, Sagittarius, you could be having dreams that they're thinking about an ex who could be Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius. Doesn't have to be the case. Could be Aries or Taurus energy. But it's somebody who's beautiful, very attractive, very loving, very giving, very abundant, fertile with ideas, and even someone pregnant. Somebody could be pregnant. You could be having dreams about someone getting pregnant. Maybe the man you love getting someone else pregnant. <sighs> or getting you pregnant because you yourself as well, Sagittarius, you could be the Empress energy here. But there's deep emotional feelings. I said that already, but the King of Cups coming out make me feel like that's definitely true. There's someone that you love a great deal, Sagittarius, or this person loves you, or you can feel like this person is loving towards the Empress, okay? That's going to stop there. Got the Nine of Pentacles showing up. This person could currently be single. Y'all, I'm so sorry. I'm definitely stopped up. I told y'all that in the intro video. <laughs> okay, yeah, I'm seeing the High Priestess and the Hermit. 
Dear the High Priest, Senator Herman, show up here. And this is all clarifying this three of pentacles energy, okay? The High Priestess definitely deals with the moon. That's intuition. That's all the spiritual matters. That is the divine feminine. This is also Cancerian energy. The High Priestess talks about maybe intuitively knowing some shit. Don't know how it's going to pan out. Don't know how it's going to work out. But you know something is going on. I feel as though something is not being hidden from you. It's not being kept from you. I don't know why, but I feel like this could still be your energy as well. I feel like your heart chakra could be getting worked on or spirit is intuitively letting you know that you need to go within to work on your heart chakra, healing that. Maybe so that you can work together with someone. Spirit, give me some more for this three of pentacles energy. <clears throat> what is this teamwork and collaboration about? Hierophant, yeah. It's about a committed Yugi here. And I also feel like it could have something to do with just your spiritual practices. Oh, and I just realized the Hierophant and the High Priestess. That's a divine couple. Ooh. I also just realized these is all major arcanas. Sagittarius, some big shit. Big shit going on here, baby. Clarifying this good old two of cups, I've got the page of cups and I've got the queen of pentacles. I feel as though somebody is going to be sharing their love if this has not already happened, but somebody is going to be expressing feelings. Could be a Cancer Scorpio Pisces energy, but they're going to be expressing feelings to someone who they see as wife material. This person could have Capricorn, Taurus, or Virgo in her chart. Spirit, so give us another card about this Two of Cups, about this Two of Chalices. Or maybe you. Sagittarius, you could be getting ready to talk to someone about the way that you're feeling. Feelings of indecision. You could be letting this person know that you can feel that they're not sure about something. That person could have Gemini, Libra, Aquarius in their chart. Could be a soulmate. This card just revealed itself. Three of Wands. So this is another three. This person, I feel like, has somebody in suspense or has you in suspense. Or something like that. I got the page of swords and the two of pentacles. Uh, you could feel like this person is trying to juggle emotions. Juggling you guys. Have you and then another person on their mind. Or just doing one too many things. Or this is you, Sagittarius. Maybe you're the one who is secretly thinking about being with someone else from your past. Maybe this person has come back and told you how they feel about you and it's thrown you for a loop because you're already in a connected, you know, you're already in a committed union. One that you felt like you really, really wanted. You felt like this person is your soulmate. And now you're at a point of indecision. Spirit, give me one more card for this two of cups. Ten of swords. It makes me feel like something has come to an end. Something is over. Something is complete. And it could be the soulmate connection that's complete here. And I also feel like that this could come as a betrayal. I feel like you're going to walk away from something, Sagittarius. And you're going to have a new beginning. An awakening, maybe. This is your card showing up in a reading as well. I always use that for Aries and Sagittarius. 
because that's optimistically moving forward in a new direction, taking a leap of faith. Wow. And back again is the Two of Cups. So now I'm really about to stop because I feel like I'm back at the beginning. Tower revealing itself. I just really feel like Sagittarius, some of you guys could be getting ready to experience the ending of one relationship and the renewal or a totally new beginning, a totally new path, a totally new direction with another connection. <laughs> so it's like you started off with a soulmate connection and then you're going to end with a soulmate connection, whether it's a brand new soulmate connection or the same one. Well, Sagittarius, that has been your reading. This is the Pretty Coach and the Pretty Coach Oracles signing off. Peace, love, light, and darkness working in balance and harmony together. If you'd ever like to book a personal reading, you can do so at theprettycoachoracles.com. You don't book it, but you just order it there, okay? Love you guys with the love of the most high. Bye.